Stanford University. We're, we're now at Stanford University's Jasper Ridge Biological Reserve, a spectacular natural area, but it covers only about four square kilometers. It's about two kilometers from side to side. The global average rate of climate change in terms of velocities on the ground is about 0.4 kilometers per year. And what that means is that for a small preserve like Jasper Ridge, we expect the climate conditions to sweep across it in less than a decade, perhaps as little as about five years. And so climate's really going to sweep across these landscapes, and they're going to sweep across Jasper Ridge, which is this reserve we're on right now. And so the question is, will all these animals, these plants and trees we see be able to keep up with the sort of front of climate sweeping across these reserves? What we found was that only about 8% of the world's protected areas now are large enough to contain the current expected climate for as much as a century. A big question for the impacts of climate change is will animals and plants be able to keep pace with this move, these movements? And if we think that movements within reserves are much easier than outside of reserves with increasing deforestation, agriculture fragmentation, these movements are on the scale that things are going to have to start moving outside of reserves and it's unclear if, if they'll be able to move that quickly in, in such fragmented landscapes. If you think about it, it's easier to imagine climate change as a set of climates that are sweeping from warmer areas to cooler areas than it is as sitting in one place and, and having the conditions gradually warm. Everybody knows that uh, if you go up higher into the mountains it, it gets cooler. And the way we think about this problem is that as the climates change, our plants and animals, at least in principle, have the potential to stay in the climate they're in now if they can move. But the conclusion from our study is that they have to move pretty fast in order to be able to do that. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.